What is up, YouTube? Crisis Predator here. All right, we're coming to you with episode two of Ark. Last episode, we ended up taming a 147 level Dillo, a level 11 Dillo, and I believe a level 14, maybe? <laughs> Um, Dodo, which is kind of interesting. So, we're going to go ahead and see if we can continue the single player. Um, now, we had some issues with frames freezing for like 10, 15, 20 seconds. So, I did change some settings and I did change, um, did, I ran some scans. I changed some settings in Arc. I changed some settings in my recording software. So fingers crossed that we're not going to run into any of those situations again. Uh, we didn't get quite as far as I wanted to in um, our last playthrough. So hopefully we'll get our base built, at least the shock built anyway, and get maybe a couple more um, things of meat. Because I need to keep both my Dillos fed, myself fed, and then get some berries for my Dodo. Okay, so... Alright, well, we didn't save um, all the way where we were. But it looks like our frame rates are okay at the moment. And it looks like our... CPU usage is okay at the moment. Alright, well, our level 100 is now tame. We'll go ahead and rename him Danny once again. And we'll make our way back over here. I am. S oh, wait. We do need to change the behavior, put him to neutral. And also, um, let's go ahead and put a few things in him. As far as weight goes, I'm not planning on taming anything else at the moment. But, we could potentially need to soon. Split the stack here. Um, split it in half. So I'll give him eight more of my meat. Keep eight for myself. Standing torches. I guess that's the other thing that we got in our box. So he will be a little over half weight. I will be a little under half. I think we'll both be pretty decent. With that. Come on, guys. All right. Hopefully, I did lower the settings in this a little bit, um, so I'm really hoping that that helps. And I'm going to continue looking over to the side just to keep an eye on my frame rates, make sure that they're okay. Um, so while I'm doing that, don't think that I'm uh, completely ignoring you guys. I do remember from last episode that we needed to get more fiber for our um, hut. So we're going to build a hut. Just to get some protection and to get out of the elements. We're also going to build a campfire. I kind of like the shaded area. Now the settings are... Um, are a little different it looks like whenever I did the absolute let's see if I can change the um, gamma I don't know if I can I've never done that so I'm not sure oh wow yes yes I can um, so that'll come in handy whenever we, uh, whenever we go to get into the night area 
probably going to change the shading as well because it looks like the shading is probably going to cause me some issues um, later on. But we'll see. I don't know. Well, we'll check it out. Maybe we won't have any freezing issues. Okay, so this may be enough fiber. I'm really hesitant to go into my menu because I know that's, uh, that's where we're going to have some issues. Um, I like the shady area back here, but I think I'm going to build my shed right here for the moment. Um, what other... Okay, we got craftables. Okay, we've got... Wood is what we need. So let's bring over Danny. Where you at, Danny? We'll access his inventory. Grab what little bit of wood we have. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get some more wood. Just to be on the safe side. Now if you see with the uh, pick and the axe and everything, there is damage that these things do um, acquire over time. So they do break. And you'll need to keep that in mind as well because you're going to need the materials to rebuild um, anything that's broken. So just keep that in mind whenever you're gathering supplies, gathering wood or rocks, or even whenever you're killing um, animals, because your spear and everything does break. You know, everything that you have does break, so. Alright, I'll need to grab some thatch. I've got enough for one. Okay, I've got enough for one wall, so we'll need two more walls, a door, and a roof. Ah! I was going to say, moment of truth. Oh, we are so fat right now. Alright. Oh, we have a wild dildo here. Let's go ahead and place this um, foundation and whatnot where we want it. Just so that we're not running around super overweight here. Um, these trees are all going to be gone. So I'm going to go ahead and place my foundation probably... Probably here. Well, here, let me show you guys this, too. Now, you cannot place your foundations and walls and anything in something like in a tree. Simply because, I mean, that's not logical for one, but it's not going to let you because it's obscured. That is a very important thing to know, especially if you're going to be building um, around rocks and things, because sometimes... The rocks you cannot break. Some of the rocks you cannot break. So, if you're going to be trying to build around that, just remember to make sure that you can actually break the rock that you're going to be building next to you because if you want to expand your base, you're not going to be able to. And that's going to be really inconvenient and it's going to be really difficult to um, to fix later on because you're not going to be able to break the rock. So just keep that in mind. Keep everything on the hot bar. Now there is um, a good thing about this building. If you notice, whenever you go down to the location, it automatically snaps into place, which is really, really great. So you can just sit there, wait for it to snap into place, and then click it to build, and you're going to be fine. Now, if you're on a hot bar, if you have an item on a hot bar that you need to rebuild, like this wall, if you hold down the number, which my wall is number 9, if you hold down that number, it'll actually show you the requirements that you need to build more of that item. So I'm going to need, I'm good with fiber, I have 105 fiber. It needs seven and I have 96 wood it needs two but I only have one thatch in which it needs ten check this thing out where's that 
That's going to be my next team. I want a pterodon so bad. Those things come in super handy. So I'll come over here. Let's grab my pick because that's a lot easier for thatch. But, oh, I already had my pick. Um, that's a lot better for thatch. 25, 29, 30 thatch there. So now if I just hit 9, I'll be able to build another wall. Which is really good. Another thing to note is whenever you're crafting, it is extremely difficult to move. You're super, super slow. So keep that in mind whenever you're um, crafting or if you're running from something then you need to make sure that you're not going to be trying to craft while you're running because you're going to be caught. Okay, so we need a door and we need a ceiling. Let me see, I think if I remember correctly, you... That tells everyone to stay put. Yes, okay. So the... Um, letter U on the keyboard if you're a PC player whistles all of your dinos every dino that you have in range to stay put right where they're at um, I don't remember what follow is I'll have to look and see what follow is but in any case I'm gonna go ahead and craft my door and my ceiling if I can what do I need thatch and I can do my door Let's go ahead and bring the door down to nine. We'll craft the door. See how slow I am here? Now watch, after it gets done crafting, I'll be able to go faster. Not much because I'm obviously overweight. Um, these omnivore, omnirafters here, they're also passive. They will not attack you. Uh, they, do ha they do sound pretty, um, pretty crazy. But they they won't attack you. I wonder if I can do a door. I may not be able to do a door unless I have a roof. Okay. In any case. Now, if you see, it's super, super dark. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and do my gamma. I'm going to type it up to here. Which is going to give uh, you guys a lot more to to see. Now, the gamma at 5 for the nighttime is super, super, super better. Um, and I say that because it's really, really dark when it gets dark. And I mean super dark. Alright, inventory. And we do have a level up, so let's do let's do weight again. You'll need to kind of be careful with your weight as well, simply because um, your dinosaurs also have weight, and I thought I already built the door. I guess not. Um. Oh wait, did I put the Ingram? I may have put the Ingram in there. Oh, that's what I did. Okay, so I, I put the Ingram in my hotbar instead of my actual door. So, anytime I had the material to create the door, I hit the Ingram. So here's our food situation. So we are starving at the moment. If you look down at the bottom right, you'll see... You'll see a snowflake, which tells me that I'm cold. You also see a like a stomach, and that tells me that I'm hungry. So with the berries at the bottom here, you simply hold down the number on the hotbar, and it will eat all the berries that are in that hotbar, and it'll also eat any of the berries that are in your inventory 
of that same berry. So if you have 100 in your hot bar and you have 50 in your inventory and you hold down the number, say, 5 for the Tinto Berry, it'll eat all 100 that's on the hot bar and all 50 that's in your inventory. Now, berries do not... Um, This automobile is really aggravating me. Um, now, the berries don't hold you over very long at all. So, it's really important to get meat as soon as you can. Um, just because it's a lot easier um, to cook, or it's a lot easier to eat cooked meat um, and gives you a lot more hunger so let's see there's 11 there's 47 147 okay we're gonna go ahead and see thought I got thought I got a simple oh there it is okay I, he doesn't have it and he does have my storage box though All right, we're gonna go ahead and stick this wood on him and let's keep that let's bring that over. I may be. No, my wood's good. Okay. For me, I like to put the simple bed in the um, little hut first. Because if you don't, then. And you put your storage locker in, then you may not have enough room for your bed. So for me, it's it's pretty important to get the bed in and situated to where it can actually stay in the uh, the hut and not have to worry about really. Oh gosh! Let's see if we can get this. And this may be right in the middle. It's a little finicky, or it is for me anyway. <laughs> you guys may have uh, no issues whatsoever, but for me, it's a little bit finicky. Okay, and the bed is important as well because that gives you a place to spawn. Say if you, um, and I may not have enough room for my box. Oh yeah, I do. Say if you, um, if you die from. A dinosaur attack or something then instead of um, spawning in a completely random location you'll be able to select your bed and from there you'll be able to spawn at your bed which is really really nice okay so we have the bed we have the box so let's empty out what is Danny have we'll put the metal we'll take oh yeah um, if you notice there's some spoiled meat in here now all of your meat and your berries and everything has a timer if you see it says spoiled time 29 minutes and 5 seconds 28 minutes 5 seconds well whenever that spoils it'll go to spoiled meat and then that spoiled meat also has a timer which is 5219 right now now whenever that spoils it'll go go away completely it's important to have all of your stuff stored away to where it doesn't spoil now wood and metal and flint and that stuff does not spoil it's just your consumables your consumables spoil um, later on you'll notice that we'll need the spoiled meat not only for um, making narcotics but for taming um, I can't remember the name of it right offhand, but it's a, a giant scorpion. And they tame off of spoiled meat. So, you'll need to make sure that you keep all of that and make sure that you keep it preserved. Um, you can also make preserving bins a little bit later on in the game. Again, a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about is going to be a little later on. It's not necessarily going to be um, right now. But 
it is it is a, an element of the game so that's definitely something to keep in mind I need the stone I don't need this um, hide on me right now oh I have a campfire we got a campfire oh nice okay so let's let's do take this wood we're gonna go ahead and split this wood though and we're gonna split it in half and you may not be able to see a lot of this stuff because it looks kind of blurry on my end as well um, but again that the gamma is what really really helps with being able to see at night especially if you're recording because it's super super dark alright so we've got our campfire here so that drop was definitely a lot of really useful things um, something to note with the campfire if you light the fire make sure that you keep an eye on it because um, it'll continue to burn even after the the meat has been cooked it'll continue to burn and it will be um, it'll burn all of your wood out it'll burn all of it up so just make sure that you just make sure that you keep that in mind so I turned it back down to gamma 2 and as you can see it is almost pitch black <laughs> but with the campfire we have that's pretty decent there's still some light campfires obviously keep you warm um, standing torches we got which was a plus so we can set those up we can actually set those up around the um, the hut that we have here again they do take fuel so make sure that you keep that in mind whenever you're setting all this stuff up simply because Um, simply because you're going to need to know exactly what what needs to be oh it's raining raining rain is good because it keeps you um, I was really trying to get to where I could see where that was at um, what is this standing torch yeah so we need to put I don't know if thatch will work as yeah I guess it will so we'll split this thatch in half. Split half. Put 25 in this one. I'll light the fire. So there you go. Now you've got a bunch of light, you've got a bunch of warmth, and you're good. Let's access this inventory. Once you see, here's your cooked meat. Now your cooked meat only has a timer, or this one has a timer of 18 minutes. So I'm definitely, definitely going to need to put this fire out because it'll just continuously burn. And then this one here will, same way with the thatch, it'll continuously burn. So, we're not going to do anything until, let's like this again. We're not going to do anything until morning, I don't think. I mean, we may. Let's, uh, let's bring up the gamma a little bit as well here. Golly. That was super bright. We'll go over and get a little more thatch, I guess. Oh, there you go. Prime example. So, my primitive tool broke. I do have enough to build it. Again, I'm just holding down the one on the um, hot bar. And tap it once, and it'll rebuild. As long as you have all the materials that you need to, to build it. So, it rebuilt. We'll go back over to the tree and we'll take it down if we can. Get some more thatch. Alright. Now this thing is super far away. So I'm not even going, going to attempt to get any of these. Again, these, they look close, but if you attempt to go after them, then it's, it's a super far, far distance. So that's probably not a good idea. And I can't tell if it's daylight or nighttime. It looks like it may be day daylight. So let's try to do the gamma again. No, it's not daylight yet. 
Oh, here's a prime example. So this one's purple. This one's going to be one of the highest level ones that you can get. I think it's second to highest or third. Um, so that one, we're definitely not going to be able to get to just yet. Um, there's a green one over there we're not going to be able to do. That green one, I think the green one's maybe level 15, I want to say. The white ones we can get to, but since they're so far away, we're not, not going to do anything with the, those just yet. Um, I'd say we go ahead and come over here and build maybe a, another box. Another storage box, which we do need some shoes too. But we don't. Ah. So we haven't learned that yet. Another really good thing is um, with your sleeping bags, you can actually build a sleeping bag and you can lay that on the ground. It doesn't have to be on a foundation or anything. And you can also respawn there like a bed. It's just like a bed. So if you're out wondering and you find a spot that's got some really good. Uh, resources lay down a sleeping bag and that way if you ever do die you can either respawn there or you can respawn back at the base so that's really useful the very first saddle you can get is going to be your parasaur saddle or your phenomia saddle so that one's not going to be too bad um, I never get that just because for me I don't really ride the the uh, phenomias which the phenomias are going to be the pig like creatures that are going to be you'll see those a little bit later as we explore um I'm starting to get daylight thank goodness you'll see those a little bit later on which they're not really a high level <laughs> creature at all they're not a high level dinosaur so I'll show you guys I may even um, kill one of them they do carry a lot of really, really good uh, meat. And they have a lot of meat and they have a lot of hide. So, uh, what is J? I remember J as being something, but I don't remember what it is. Following. Okay, J is following. So if I hit the J. Okay, so U is stay put and J is follow. Gotcha. I'll go ahead and stick this meat on my hot bar. Number five. It's usually where I keep it. Again, you guys can keep it wherever you want. That is not a big deal. I'm thinking maybe. All right, let's go over and let's go ahead and take out a, another dodo. Just for the meat. Unless this is a really high level dodo. I'm just going to kill it for the meat. Oh, it's a level 80. My goodness. Did I kill it? Uh, yeah, I killed it. I don't need hide. I need the meat. Well, shoot. Level 80 would have been nice. Maybe it's pick for hide. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, my dinosaurs are following me. We're still doing good. Okay, I think we're... Uh, level 12. These guys are also passive. They don't kill you. Um, unless... Unless you take their egg. Now, you could be wandering around and find a an egg. If you pick up the egg, the dinosaur is more than likely going to... Um, attack you. So let's see, what is... I don't know. It's kind of the same, it looks like. Between the pick and the... Um, hatchet. Now this is a Parasaur. You can ride these things, and they're pretty quick. And if I'm not mistaken, I wonder... Yeah, you have a Parasaur saddle. It's a saddle skin. Um... For the Parasaur. So if you want to get a pretty low level mount, the Parasaur is pretty much the easiest one to get. That one or, or the Phenomia. The Phenomia is pretty easy too. Now we'll need to be careful because 
we're starting to get into an area that I'm not 100% familiar with. Um, I believe these are called, I think the, um, the turtles are called Carabinium. Again, they have a lot of health. I mean, they could be a, a great pack mule, but they have a lot of health. What is going on over here? Where you at, Dodo? Alright. So I'm going to whistle these guys to stay put. Here, come over here. A little, little bit further. Come on over here. If you see, it said spoiled nar narco berry. So I'm going to need to use those soon. I'm going to have everybody come over here. I'm actually going to go and, and try to tame this um, carabinium. I don't know that I'm going to be able to. Maybe. But we'll, we'll have to see. I know headshots are going to be ideal for this thing to knock it out. And if I'm not mistaken... Okay, he's starting to turn around and run. So he may actually be low health. Okay, we got him. Nice. So, I don't know how long this is going to take to tame this guy, to be honest with you. I know that he does berries, or I'm pretty sure he does berries. So, we'll try the berries. Okay, he's going to take a little while to, uh, to tame. But if you look, he's level 12, 99.9%. He's going to gain five levels, so he'll be roughly level 17. But it is going to take a while for him to tame. So we're actually going to come around. We'll replenish the stones that we got, or that we used to, uh, to knock him out. What in the heck? It sounded like something was attacking me. I guess so, though. We're kind of carry, uh, carelessly walking around to uh, to gather stones. Probably not a great idea. All right, let's see. Everybody over here. Everybody's good still. No issues, right? All right. So we'll have them follow me. Come on over, guys. Got a uh, got a surprise for you all. Hey, hey, come on. Debbie, get over here. Crazy. <clears throat> so even if you have food in these guys, or any dinosaur for that matter, matter, even if you have the um, food in them, this unconscious bar, if it goes all the way down and gets to the very end, then this thing will wake up, and it's, it doesn't matter how far up your taming is, It'll be wild, and you'll have to re-knock it out, and you'll have to resupply it with food, and all of that. Um, it's really, it's a pain in the butt. Especially with some. You have some that are going to be a lot harder to, to tame than others, and their unconscious bar goes down super, super quick. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, that'll work. <laughs> I like it. That was that was definitely cool. So it looks like whatever settings I changed did a pretty good job. It looks like everything is going pretty well, really. I haven't had any, any frame rate issues. Alright. So it's not terribly long for him to tame. I'm okay with that. And I'll actually, I'll show you guys. Let me get this plant here. Um, I'll show you guys what it is to put the narco berries in 
in a dinosaur to keep him unconscious. So we have 30 narco berries. We'll put it over in his inventory. And his torpidity, that is going to be his unconsciousness. So you know it's going down. It's 370, 369, you know, 368. So if you use this, right click and consume, or E, I guess E would be easier. Let's see. Go over and push E. So I have 27, 26, 25. Let's go all the way down to 15. So his torpidity, torpidity is now going up. 393, 397, 399, 400. So the narco berries are going to keep this guy asleep while taming. <clears throat> now you don't want to go over and you don't want to punch the guy. Or you don't want to um, hit him with the arrows. And you don't want to knock him out or try to knock him out with blunt force because if you do then his levels and his taming effectiveness is going to go down way way far so if he's plus five levels and you hit him once he'll knock down to like plus four or plus three levels and you keep hitting hitting him and he continues to drop until he's plus zero levels and um you have a chance of killing him too um so I don't remember if this guy was a female or a male, so we'll put Carl. And if it's a female, we'll we'll turn it to uh, uh, Carla. But it looks like he's good. Okay. So this guy is going to be quite nice to have because he's going to definitely be the... Um, he's definitely going to be my pack mule. With his weight, let's look at his stats real quick. His weight, he has 286.2 weight. That's massive compared to any of my other dinosaurs at all. So this is going to be quite nice to have. Now we do need to continuously um, feed him berries. And that's another thing with, with your dinosaurs. You need to keep them fed. Later on you can make a... Um, you can make a trough to feed them and they'll if you put them on wandering then they'll go over to the trough and they'll eat from the trough and all that but again that's a little later on in the game I really want this guy they have a bad habit of flying over the water and if you knock them out over the water then obviously they drown so Let's see, where is our hut? Everybody still following us? We're getting a little bit built up. I'm really surprised. Our hut is around here somewhere, I think. Is it here? I don't know. Maybe we walked a lot farther than I thought. Everybody go? Okay, everybody good? Alright. <clears throat> I've lost our hut. How sad is that? Second episode in. Huh. There it is. I was going to say second episode in, we've already lost our hut. These guys are pretty decent. They're also passive. Um, but they give you... I think it's... Creatine? <clears throat> I want to say creatine, but I may be completely wrong. We'll find out here in a little bit um, with these guys. Alright, let's bring everybody over. Where is Carl? Carl? Alright, you guys stay put. I gotta go find the dodo and the... Oh, there he is. Come on over. Come on, Carl. Behavior. Um, let's uh, enable following. Come on. Come on over. There you go. You're gonna be my pack mule. Carl, what are you doing? It was a rock. You can, you can get over a rock. Come on. 
<coughs> Beautiful. Alright. Whistle him to stop. Let's go get this dodo. What are you doing, Dorothy? Dorothy. Come on, man. Are you crazy? You're stuck on a rock, too? I can't even... There you are. I was going to say, I can't even access your uh, inventory here. Hey, wait a minute. Let's just pick you up. I'm going to pick you up. I forgot all about this. You can actually pick up the dodos, and you can actually throw the dodos. Um, I want, I want to set you down, though. Okay. All right. So we've got a carabinium. We've got a dodo and two dillos. Not too bad. I think our next mission is going to be probably to upgrade this base some. I'll probably upgrade it to um, wood. Let's see where we're at. I don't really have anything that I can upgrade at the moment, though. We're going to need to go... Let's see. I only have four. Yeah, we're going to need to level up. All right, let's go get some more resources. That guy's taunting me. I will get you. Don't think I won't. If the trees and the um, logs explode like that, you can walk right through them without any issue whatsoever. We're going to go ahead and kill this guy too, just to get some more meat. Whoa. Alright. And... Let's see. One more dodo. Get some more meat off this guy. Now let's see. Let's head back. Let's go ahead and cook up some of this meat too. I mean, we're doing pretty decent with our food. We've only went down just a little bit, so that's not terrible. And oddly enough, you would think that the pter pterodactyls um, would require meat. Or do they? I wanted to I wanted to say that they require berries, but you know what? I'm I'm thinking that they do eat meat. We're gonna try it. We're gonna knock this guy out. We're gonna try to knock this guy out. Oh we hit him! Holy moly, we hit him! Holy cow! I don't come back! <laughs> I can't believe we hit that guy. I fully expected that to miss. Right, taunt me. I'll show you. All right. I know. I know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I needed that meat. Are you nuts? All right, give me the hide. You can, you can keep the meat, I guess. Uh, we're going to do melee damage for this guy. And probably health. Health and maybe one stamina. There we go. Level 152. Man. That is crazy. This guy's got five. So we're going to do health on him. I think all these guys are going to do health and melee with a little bit of stamina. And I'm not real sure with the dodo what we're going to really do with the dodo. Um. He's also got five, I don't know, maybe movement speed because they're so slow. We'll just sink it all into movement speed. We're going to have a quick dodo, do like a super fast dodo. And then, of course, with this carabinium, what I'm going to do is wait on this guy simply because I'm going to make him my early game pack horse. Anything that I need um, to carry around for a base, I'm going to stick in him. So that I can just set up like these little shacks all over the place and not have any issues. So I really want to do... Oh, I have a level up too. I have two of them. Um, let's go with health 
and stamina on these two. I have 32 Ingrams. Definitely want to learn the Mortar and Pastel. And I want to learn the Narcotics. Because those are going to be key whenever I make my bow and arrows. And I'll be able to um, finally be able to make some Trank arrows. Which is going to be super, super, super efficient for me. And I'm going to go ahead and learn these wood foundations and wood wall. Because, um, let's, let's do the wood frame as well, yeah. Let's do the wood door frame as well. It'll give us one, and then we can do ten. It'll give us the door and ceiling. I like the way the wood looks. A lot better than the thatch. And I'll, I'll probably expand a lot more with the wood than I will with the thatch. So, what we need is wood for the wood structures, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and break down some of these trees. And oh, we'll probably end up calling it. Because it is already 45 minutes in. Take down this tree. And then we'll call it for the day. Alright, let's head back over. And then I'll probably go ahead and start a, another episode right after this one. Oh wait. First, let's check out this uh, trilobite. Level 2. They give you... I think it's... I think it's creatine. Maybe. Oh, broke a spear. Oh, we broke two spears. So, like I said... Um, chitin, oil, pearls, and meat. I don't remember what the pearls do... But I know you can make chitin armor. I think that's how you say it, chitin. I know you can make chitin armor, so. Alright, let's take down this tree, and then we're going to call it for the day. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. We did a, a pretty decent episode, though. We, uh, we ended up taming Carl, the uh, Carabinium turtle. And we set up a shack. Got some supplies. We're gonna go ahead and expand. Whenever we, uh, whenever we come back in episode three, we'll probably expand the space out some and down, and maybe make some pins for the dinos and whatnot. So, all right, guys. Thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep the uh, keep the subscriptions coming and keep the the views coming. Uh, do it for you guys, man. I, I truly do. I, I make these videos for you guys. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to, leave a comment down below. Also, if you like these videos and you like my content and you want to see more of it, go ahead and hit that subscription button. It's also down below. And until next, next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are awesome. And until next time, this is Crisis Predator. I'm out.